Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials. Today I'll show you the skin retouching process. Someone told me to retouch this type of face and I'm just retouching this one in front of you. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification. Here at first press Ctrl or Command J, you are getting the copy of this new layer. And here if we analyze that, the face is not smooth and rugged face over here. And the color and the spots over there and so what should we do we need to go or go to the manual way so one is the blur and make copy by pressing ctrl or command j another one is sharp okay and another one is the main one so going to the filter from here blur and gaussian blur so make the gaussian blur 8 to 9 pixels okay that's fine and hit okay and now going to the sharp option make this one into hard light or overlay i'm mixing over here the hard light here and going to the filter and other and high pass from the high pass value the high pass value should be like this and select these two layers making it group actually and giving it touch and mask it out after masking it ctrl command i for the inverse mask now time to add some texture in the brush tool setting the brush normally and brush flow and opacity like 50 or 60 or 70 percent don't make it 100 percent make the brush size bigger accordingly and you can have this one into white when you are getting the black over there and just brush so before after you are getting over here brush carefully not too much in the forehead portion I'm making this one so take your time actually when you're taking time to brush it properly you are getting the finest output ever so making them properly yeah that's good those portion yeah that's fine let's see the before one and after one the changing appears in the next step we'll do the color correction not in this portion just because of i don't want to lose the like quality of sharpness Let's see the before one was like then and after one you are having the new changes so saving them into me group right press and convert to smart object now we'll make the dodge and burn process just because of the light gone here some lights and the prominent lights will bring them to back so press ctrl j and j right press and restylize the layer and right press and restylize the layer so another one is the shadow or light and another one is the shadow so light and shadow will work with that that means the dodge and burn. into light portion going to the blending mode into screen right press and blending options from here here is the underlining option and finding the highlighted area of the face and all the stuffs press alter option button divide the things and adjust the light to the face okay before and after light just popped up now mask it out after masking that going to the image and now apply image and hit ok now in the shadow portion making it to multiply right press blending options and underlining layer find out the shadow accordingly alter option button for the sliding divider and hit ok making it to mask going to the image apply image again and now making it invert and nice and making them into group after that dodge and burn okay after making it make it mask again going to the image and uh, apply image and here uncheck the invert option and hit okay 
So let's see the before and after. You are getting the prominent shadow and other steps here. The retouch. Okay. And this one. Making into convert to smart object. And after making this one, we'll go to the color correction. So here going to the filter and camera filter. Before that, you have to save this project. Otherwise it could be uh, like crashed or other stuff. So I'm saving this. Okay, that's fine. Going to the filter and going to the camera filter. Now we'll do the color correction of the face here. So from here, I'll making this one a little bit cool. And actually like this. Okay, that's fine. Here the contrast, I'll increase blacks and increase dehaze, I'll increase. Okay, the shadow will increase. That's good. And from here, making it a little bit cool type, minus 16. Okay, that's good. The vibrance, if I make this one like that. And the saturation, I'll make it a little bit down. That's good. Going to the color grading options, shadow color, I'll change the shadow color. Yeah. And the value is 202 and saturation like that. And mid tone, if I make the mid tone value of the saturation like this, I can change the mid tone color. Yeah, that's fine. If I make it a little bit yellowish or red type, saturation will be down. Yeah, that's good. And the highlight, the highlight portion, I have to change the light like that. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see the before and after. We are separating the color from here. In the calibration portion, you can change the color of the face. Calibrate the color actually. Green primary. So you can adjust the lights and other stuffs. You can do like that. So from the basic options, I'll increase the vibrance a little bit. Yeah, before and after and a little bit warm tone before and after and hit the ok button so it's taking time and load it up and going to the filter again and nick collection color effects proof for another filter of the photoshop and i'll provide you the download link in my video description it will be amazing here i'm using the cross processing all the sub method over here which one is perfect for your photography you have to define strength 33 percent it's taking time to load and providing the final let's see the before one and before one and after one before one and after one you are getting the huge change over there this one is the technique to retouch your photography hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video asmr signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye